Hello travelers, so today I want to do a quick video of the AeroPress Go and this is a portable coffee press coffee maker as you can see it is nice and compact and everything that you need to make a pressed coffee is in here and the nice thing is they include some micro filters as well the paper filters and on the box here on how to make the coffee and actually inside they give you some more instructions now since this is advertised as a portable coffee maker I thought that it might be good for taking with one bag travel if you are like a real coffee drinker so I thought I'd try it with a couple of different bags this here is the Daybreaker from Able Carry and you can see it just fits in there there's elastic here so it could stretch more but one of the things I noticed about this design that they used here is that the lid is kind of comes off a bit e too easy so if I was going to be taking this or packing this in my bag I would probably put like a rubber band or something to hold that on there a little more firmly so I just thought I'd try it in the little water bottle sleeve here on the Minal Daily 3.0 and it's just a bit too tight to fit in there this doesn't have a huge amount of elastic and it just won't seem to go in there but as I said, you could put this into the bag in any other place and I would probably just put a rubber band to secure it a little more. So since this is a portable coffee maker, I think that it would be best suited for people who want to take this to their work, make coffee at work and then bring it home and then make coffee at home. It is advertised as being good for camping and travel. And I think that you could use it while traveling, but every time that you travel, there's a lot of places you can get nice coffee in general. So I think that for camping it could be good, although having to wash it all up and it's lots of different pieces it might be a little bit annoying. So when it comes to the actual process of making coffee, there's obviously you need coffee beans or ground coffee. I ordered this coffee grinder from China and it took several months to arrive, but having tried it a few times, I can say that I don't think it's worth getting a portable hand wound coffee grinder to grind beans to use with this because for me just using ground coffee like this tastes just as good really to me and it's a lot less work but I know a lot of people who are really into coffee would much prefer to grind their own and get a fresher taste so I know this is a low quality one so that's probably why it takes a little bit longer to grind as well but if that works for you then that is one option now this one is compact and I'll just show you the contents here so you get the paper filter and one thing I noticed with this paper filter is that it doesn't always stay closed sometimes it pops up on me and at the moment it seems to be staying closed but often it pops up which is a little bit annoying and then you get the included cup which you can drink out of which I think is a really nice cup and then inside you have the press and then the filter here you also get a coffee stirrer which is a nice little compact one and then you have a scoop so this makes it easy to get the right amount of ground coffee from your coffee packet and the included cup is actually really nice if you look closely it's got these ridges which mean that you don't feel the heat of the hot water through the cup and it makes it nice to grip onto so drinking out of this with the lip here as well is actually very nice and a pleasant experience so I really do like the included cup that they have for this one now as I was talking about here the this coffee grinder is just the right size to fit into the pressing mechanism it sticks up a little bit so even if you did try to put that back into the cup it's obviously going to stick out and not be compact enough so you could bring that separately or as I said you could just take ground coffee now there are also two methods that you can use to make coffee the first which is the original method that they show is you use the press I'll just pull it out by the way it has uh, cups here so you can make up to three shots or cups of coffee uh, each of these numbers is, I believe is a shot so the first way is that you would put a paper filter in here then you'd add the hot water up to the desired level here 
uh, pop in your plunger and then and then press it down until you've made the coffee. Now the other popular method, which is the method I've been using personally, is what they call the inverted method. So that means you pop it upside down like so, take off the filter, and then you put your ground coffee in here, and then you put the hot water in here on top and let it sit for a little bit. Then you stir it and then you pop it into the cup. Now I've been using this method to make a long black, which is where you add a little bit of hot water into the cup first, and then you make the coffee, then wait a minute or two, and then, then press this shot onto the top of the hot water. Now it actually makes quite a nice coffee in this way. Measure out a scoop of ground coffee and pop it into the cup. Then you just want to level the coffee so that it's nice and level in the plunger. Grab a paper filter. You can get filters that are reusable, like a little metal ones that stay in the actual cup. So now if you put the filter in like so, the paper could have the tendency to fall out. So what I would suggest doing is just putting a little drop of water on there so that the water tension will hold it to the actual um, filter. Put a few drops on there and then that's not going anywhere. So I think I actually forgot to record that. What I did was I poured the hot water into this one about a third of the way up and I poured the hot water in here and I'm just letting that sit for a minute or two and in the meantime I just rinse off the tools that I've used. Okay, so now the last step is with the filter, you can see it's not going to fall off. You pop that on and tighten it. And then you just tip that upside down into the cup. And then press down until you hit the grounds. And so that's it. Now you have a really nice long black coffee to enjoy. So do I think it's worth getting the AeroPress Go? I think that in terms of using it at home and at your workplace, it's a really good idea. And the cup, as I was saying, is my favorite part. It's got really nice ridges on it and the lip makes it very nice to drink out of. And it makes a really nice cup of coffee as well. In terms of using for actual overseas travel or camping, as they suggest on the box, I think that it might be a little bit fiddly to use while camping because there's lots of different components that you could lose or that you would need to wash or rinse out after you've used it. I think for overseas travel, it could be a good thing to take if, you, if you're really into your coffee and you want your specific type of coffee or you want to try different coffee beans and you want to have like a press coffee machine with you, then I think it is good for you in that case. But I think for me personally, I would be using this like in an office at home or if I was working somewhere else, I'd take it to work and make it there because you get a cup included so you're not having to use cups at work or be without a cup. So if you are in the market for a new coffee press or you're looking for a coffee maker to use at home and at work, be sure to check it out and be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos.